I'm Tiffany Larson. I own my own gym, and on the sideline, I rescue Great Pyrenees and Akbash working dogs. During the summer here in Blaine County, ranchers take their sheep bands into different canyons all over, clear up over into Galena, spread out all the way through Hindman, Lake Creek, Corral Creek, and each band usually has anywhere from five, maybe to ten dogs working that band of sheep for protection. In the state of Idaho, these dogs are listed as livestock. They have no rights whatsoever. The ranchers can shoot them in the head at will. They can be left behind. They are pretty emaciated by the end of a summer. They are asked to do a tireless job and get no love in return. What ends up happening right now about this time of year in October is when all the sheep bands are leaving the canyons and headed back south to the ranches. And this is where dogs are exhausted, left behind. We find a, lots of abandoned dogs. And it is also a time where we find many litters of puppies because the ranchers also do not have to vaccinate, neuter, spay. And so we have all these unwanted litters. And when the females go off to have their litters, the band of sheep moves, they're left behind. And so here you have a mom and 10 puppies to die. Over the last five years, we have found out that these dogs are very mistreated, abandoned, not fed very much food, sick and so we have taken it upon ourselves to start to educate people about these working breeds. We started our Unega Mountain Dog Rescue as a sanctuary, as a rescue to socialize, rehabilitate, and really give these guys a second chance at life and a more loving life. With running and coaching people, you'll always see improvement. So I think these dogs, first of all, all they want is love. That's all they want. And they will improve if they're aggressive or anything. They will improve. As far as the ranchers go, I think with time and education and knowledge, I think there will be change, and I think that's what happens. It's like with a runner, there's change. They learn to love, take care of their bodies, take care of themselves, and get better. And it's the same with what we're trying to do here. We're just trying to, to love on these animals and not take away from what the rancher's jobs are, but just to tell them there's a different way of doing it, and the change is good. My grandfather on my mom's side was a bass sheep herder. His father was a bass sheep herder from Spain. The thing back then, they did not treat their dogs this way. Their dogs slept at the wagon. They were loved on, they were fed. Like, they knew that those dogs, this was their lifeline to save their sheep. And honestly, I think karma has a way of, you know, it's just what I'm supposed to do. I feel like this is where my heart is. I thought the gym was where my heart was, and this is like, oh my God, this is amazing, I own my own studio. Not even close. 